This is really very much like buying a child's construction kit, but everything is completely broken. As a lot of my friends say, this is Meccano for big boys. My name is Stephen and I restored a 1932 MG J2 midget. I'd always wanted a J2 and a friend of mine who has a large collection of MGs suggested I contact a dealer in Surrey. This I did and he turned up a kit of parts which I was able to restore and create or recreate this car. The general condition was pretty appalling. Um, it really was just a kit of broken parts and everything had to be refurbished, overhauled, and then, of course, reassembled. The first thing to restore was the chassis. Uh, this had to be straightened, corrected, and then that was followed by the front axle, the back axle, engine, and gearbox. Uh, a new body was built and reupholstered and then totally resprayed. One of the final components to find was the speedometer. I was very lucky to find a speedometer which had been fitted in a car of the same type and raced in the 1934 Bold Door in France. How successfully I don't know, but actually I was very pleased to have uh, the component with a, a racing history of some sort. The first run out for the car, once fully assembled, was to Ford's motorsport test track at Boreham and I used the circuit for the day, covered about 300 miles, and then I was able to train myself to use the gearbox and make various settings on the engine. In 1991, a trip of a lifetime for the car and for me was with my father to the USA, and over a period of about three weeks, we covered approximately 2,000 miles, all faultlessly and an extremely memorable tour. The engine is a 847cc, four-cylinder engine, gives approximately 37 brake horsepower, four-speed gearbox, all non-synchro mesh, braking system is all cable operated and operates on all four wheels and is actuated by foot brake and handbrake at the same time. The mascot on the front is known as a midge. Uh, Understandably, this represents the midget, uh, the name of the vehicle. Many cars of the 1920s and 30s uh, carried mascots on the front. Almost every midget thereafter uh, often was adorned with, with such a mascot. The driving experience is quite unique. It handles extremely well, very positive steering quite sharp acceleration up to a point, although you do need to keep the revs up and rev the engine extremely high to make sure that you keep the power there. This can be lost, particularly on long hills, uh, if you're travelling on dual carriageway or on modern roads. But used round the country lanes, uh, it is a very exciting car to drive.